Hello, Challenger applicants. I'm Julie Schultz Bartlett, principal at Challenger Middle School and High School, and I am very happy to greet you today and invite you to apply to our school for the upcoming school year. Today, we are going to share with you some basic information about Challenger Middle School and High School. To start off with, Challenger is grades seven through 12. We are an alternate learning environment where we will be addressing students' needs using different scheduling and different curriculum than some traditional schools. We have an accelerated program where we use the quarter system uh, in our high schools and middle school. We have a shortened day and altered schedule for all of our students. We have small class sizes and we do have low enrollment, so you will get to know students really well. All right, let's move on now to what an alternate learning environment is. So an alternate learning environment means that we do things a little differently than some of the traditional schools in our area. For example, we are a school of choice. You have to apply to get in, which means we have students from all over the Bethel School District in our within our school. So you will be seeing students from um, every neighborhood that the Bethel School District reaches. We are a very small school with very small classes. So we have about um, 18 teachers. We have three social workers or support staff. Uh, we have some classified staff members, but we do not have every, um, we don't have every ability to move around to lots of different kinds of teachers. So you would be getting to know a few teachers really, really well. We have three different sessions here, an AM session, a PM session, and a middle school session. So our AM session and our PM session are for grades nine through 12. Those are three hours each. And our middle school session is for grades seven and eight, and that is a five hour day. We have about 150 students that are in our high school, so it's a very small high school, and about 60 students that are in our middle school. Uh, our class sizes are small also, so traditional class sizes are around 30 to 35, and we have about 18 students per class. Uh, some of our classes go up to 24, but there's two teachers in that class. Just like all of the traditional schools, we have iPads for all of our students. Our students are expected to complete assignments outside of school as well as inside of school because we do use the quarter system and the quarter system is more accelerated than a traditional middle school or high school where they use trimesters. So we actually go faster in our classes. What else is unique um, about our challenger experience? Okay, so any of you that are looking at applying for ninth through 12th grade, things that you should note about high school here, we have four nine week terms. So a traditional trimester is um, about 11 to 12 and our classes are about nine weeks. So you would spend nine weeks in each class. You get four credits per class, um, per quarter. We, all of us in this entire building, grades nine through 12 or grades seven and eight have advisory two times a week. So some of our more comprehensive schools, they do advisory once a month maybe. We do advisory two times a week. We have some classes that are year long. So many of our math classes, you take all four quarters. So you take a whole year of math. Our ninth and 10th graders, everyone takes an entire year of, math, of English with the same teacher. And then we do have some accelerated classes for our 11th and 12th graders, particularly those students who have already demonstrated proficiency by passing either the Smarter Balance Assessment or um, an ACT, uh, getting a high enough score in ASVAB. There's different ways you can show that you're proficient and you would be able to take accelerated classes. What is accelerated here? How do we do credit retrieval? So we do have accelerated classes in um, all of our other subject matters. So you can um, retrieve any credits that you might've missed from having an off year in the high school, or you can graduate early, or you can take accelerated classes your freshman and sophomore year so that you can prepare to do something like Running Start or um, the skill center. Speaking of which, we have lots of credit opportunities for you. So if you are a junior or a senior at Challenger, you can join um, the Pacific, the Pierce County Skill Center and take classes in the off session. So for example, if you came in the morning, then you would take a bus over to Pierce County Skill Center to do um, some career and technical work. This is a way that you can earn an additional 4.5 credits each year. Same thing with Running Start. Although you do need to provide your own transportation, we have college courses at Pierce College that we offer. We can also connect you with Tacoma Community College. So you can take running start classes during the second half of your day as well. 
And finally, some of our students will participate in online credit recapture, which are through Edgenuity or Alex Math. Uh, these courses are um, charged. So you are charged between $25 and $50 to take each of these. But if you are considering applying to Challenger because you are possibly a 11th, 12th grade or 12th grader, or maybe um, finished your 12th grade year, just a few credits short, and you want to join Challenger so that you can accelerate or credit recover, then those classes might help you to be able to graduate on time. It's important for you to know when you uh, are a high school student coming in that we focus a lot on creating a schedule for you that's going to get you to graduation, but it is a lot more work than you might be anticipating. So know that when you join Challenger, you're joining a committed team that's ready to get you where you need to be, and we need you to be a committed partner in that work. All right, what if you are in grade seven and eight and you are considering joining Challenger? Uh, you should also know that we have four quarters. Um, our seventh and eighth grade is very small. We don't have more than 37th graders and 38th graders. They come from every single middle school in the district, so you will not be with neighborhood students during school. It's important to note that you will have a block class of science math and a block class of ELA social studies. And then you will all take PE or technology as your electives. We do not have as many choices um, in our middle school as the traditional middle schools. So we have only these two electives for you. We have advisory two days per week and we have about 18 kids per class in our middle school as well. All right, continuing on, what should you know about our schedule? So our daily schedule at Challenger, our students are in one of, th one of these sessions. You are either in session one, which is the AM session, that's grades nine through 12, or you are in session two, the PM session, grades nine through 12, or you are a middle schooler and that those hours are five hours, 755 to 125. You are not allowed to be in more than one session. So for example, if you take session one, you may not stay for session two. If you are in middle school, you may not stay until the end of the high school day. We um, require that everyone be in their session and then leave campus when their session's over. How does busing work? Uh, busing is um, determined by where you live. And sometimes if you require busing for a high school, you will be assigned to either AM or PM because our transportation department does not have busing all day long from every area of the district. So you will, when you get accepted, you'll talk to our office manager and she'll tell you which session you were in based on your address. It's very important that you put your correct address in your application because that determines both your session as well as uh, where we're going to pick you up. It's important to note that you will likely have to travel. It is not door-to-door -door service for busing. You will have to get to one of the area schools, a middle school, elementary, or maybe even the high school to be able to pick up a transfer bus to Challenger. Our middle school students, they will be riding their regular transportation to their home school and then receive a transfer bus to Challenger. So if you are a parent who is concerned about bus activity for your middle schoolers, know that they will still be expected to ride the regular middle school and high school buses to their regular area. Always for everyone, busing is optional. So if you don't want busing, your parent can drive you and transport you. Our lunch works um, in the same way. Everyone has access to lunch at Challenger. We are a 100% free lunch school. So you get lunch um, during your sessions. Middle school gets lunch in the commons and they have 30 minutes of seated lunch time with some outside time. High schoolers are grab and go in between sessions. So as first session is leaving, they grab their lunch and get on the bus. Um, as second session is arriving, once they get off the bus, they grab their food and they go to class. So high school students sometimes stay in the cafeteria, but usually it's a grab and go option for them. Things to consider when thinking about applying for Challenger. There's a lot of great things here. We have an altered schedule. Uh, we have the ALE classes. Uh, we have acceleration, but we also have some limitations. So for example, high school students, we have limited elective and CTE options. So our CTE options are engineering, culinary, careers or digital media and art. We do not have other elective choices that you might, um, or other pathway choices like business, we don't have that right now. So please be careful that you are coming in with the idea that these are the CTE options that will work for you. We do not have any in-person advanced placement or honors classes. 
this would be um, capacity constrained, we would have to have at least 20 kids available for those classes. And typically we have a smaller number. So for those advanced and honors classes, those we often recommend you take either online or we will support you at taking those at your, at your um, home high school. We have only one foreign language option here, it's Spanish. So if you have already started with a different foreign language, we would not be able to continue that. We do not have band, orchestra, or choir. That would have to happen at your home school. Um, also, if you are interested in sports, we do not have sports at Challenger. You would have to have that at your home school and you would need parent transport. Um, there are very few clubs. We do not have any after school time. And our special education is very limited and only taught via co-teach. So if you are a student who is used to having a pullout model or um, work in a self-contained classroom, we do not have those programs here at Challenger. Middle school considerations are the same as high school. We do not have band, orchestra, and choir. We have very few accelerated classes for the high school. We do not have honors. Uh, some We do have more advanced math because you can access classes with the high school students, but we do not have um, some of the same electives. Um, sports are always at your home school with parent transport, and we have very few clubs. Again, special ed is offered only through co-teach, so we do not have any self-contained classes on Challenger's campus, except our LSA, which is a special admit program that is not managed by the Challenger staff. All right, let's say you are interested in continuing here. You're going to be met with the ALE requirements for all students. It is important for you to note that all students um, have ALE requirements. Every student has a written learning plan. Uh, every student has um, to show that they are meeting with their advisor monthly. And every month we do satisfactory progress report checks. You must be passing the majority of your classes Usually that means three out of four, and you must have regular attendance, which typically means 80%, so not missing more than one or two days a month in order to meet progress. If you are not meeting progress, you would have an unsat progress report. If you have three unsat progress reports in a row, you are removed from the program and you would lose your seat. Teacher to student contact is shorter at Challenger because we have our class periods are only 42 minutes long. And so it's very important that you are interacting constantly with your teachers, especially if you miss school. What happens if you have an unsat progress report? Well, an unsat progress report um, would mean that we need to follow these steps with you. So there's three steps. First, you have a conference with your teacher about what you need to do. If the next month you're still unsat, you have a conference with an administrator and a parent. If the next month you're still unsat, we might change your schedule and try again, modify your experience, or you might lose your seat. Particularly if you're unsat is because of attendance and you're not coming to school, you might lose your seat at Challenger. We don't want that to happen and we make a lot of efforts to prevent that, but we want you to be aware when you sign up to come to Challenger, you're signing up to be in attendance here. All right, the whole effort of this is to make sure that our students graduate. We do a lot of creative things to get you to graduate. Being on the quarter system, we also have fewer graduation requirements. We require uh, 24 credits to graduate. Um, it's important for you to note that comprehensive high schools require 26. So we work with you to try to make up to make the difference for coming to our school. If you join Challenger, it is a full year commitment. We require that you uh, sign up and then stay so you cannot go back and forth bouncing. Please make sure that you make a really good choice if you apply and you're accepted. Please make sure that you want to be here the full time. Also note, uh, high school seniors, if you transfer in as a senior and we have you uh, do our work and get to graduation, you will graduate with the Challenger class. You will not have the option to go back to walk the stage with your uh, home high school. So even if you transfer in for only one year as a senior, you will walk with Challenger. We hope that this helped you to make an informed decision and we encourage you to apply and we look forward to seeing you one day on campus. Have a great day.